welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable chair which supports your body or sitting rather lying down on your bed or some other flat surface like a sofa and the main thing really is that you're comfortable so it's important to remember that you can move your position at any time don't feel that you need to stay still statue because your comfort is the number one priority at all times okay there are no awards given for sticking to a certain sitting position or lying down position there's no point even if you you may feel really relaxed throughout your whole body but if you're lying in the wrong way you may end up with a, a sore neck as, as an example so if you feel the need if you're lying down you need to lie on your left side or maybe you need to turn and lie on your right side or on your front or even just stand up for 30 seconds and then lie down again do what's necessary because I know there's people listening to this that have chronic pain issues so you need to be sensitive to your own physical requirements I hope that makes sense I don't normally go on about it but every now and then I like to mention that just to be careful it's not that I'm going to ask you to you know, do anything really weird jumping through hoops or doing handstands I just want you to know that this is space and this is your recording and therefore there are no rules other than the rules that you decide upon all I would say is just listen to just be there it's very simple which is just how I like it and just how, like me I'm a very simple person so I don't I don't do complication everything that I do all the recordings are very very basic very simple, just relaxing, either for the sake of relaxing, to reduce your stress, maybe to reduce chronic pain, or to fall asleep comfortably with a calm mind, so those thoughts that maybe you used to have in the past, that were maybe a little bit intrusive, just drop away allowing you to feel good to feel relaxed as well as actually when you relax and when you take a break from outside 
just give yourself some space to just let go of everything for a while. It gives you an opportunity to actually get more of a sense of distraction without needing to do it but just allowing it to happen allowing however you feel to just come to the surface and it's not just about focusing on stress that you might have in your body that perhaps you weren't necessarily completely aware of. But it's also noticing the parts of your body that feel really relaxed. For example, when I relax, lie down and relax, I notice my lower back, because I have chronic pain in my lower back, it's more age related really, age related, um, I'm just wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing down basically, but I notice first of all how that part of my body feels, and then I notice how it starts to relax. trying to force it because we can't force relaxation. You could say relaxation is like a bowel movement, shouldn't be forced. That might be the title of the this recording. Relaxation is like a bowel movement. It's a weird and it's a funny title anyway. <laughs> might not get any listeners but hey It's not about forcing any kind of feeling. It's not about moving away from stress or tension, which is the natural thing to do. So there's no judgment of here. It's very natural to want to move away from pain and to move towards pleasure. That's how human beings are built. But there's something quite special when you just sit still or lie, lie down and just be still. So you're neither moving away from displeasure, stress, tension, pain, but you're also not you're just sitting with the feeling you're just being aware of how you feel in this moment start with, it's, it does change very quickly. But 
because you're not doing any of that. Moving away. You're not craving something else. You're just being with it. You're just observing how you feel right now. so much control, but power over the situation. You're the observer, almost of an experiment. observe and you notice something that is always happening and that thing is change our feelings physical and emotional are always always changing Constantly, every second of every day, we feel differently to how we did the second before. It might only be micro, a tiny shift, but those tiny shifts change. seconds or a few minutes moving from being having maybe tight muscles to really feeling relaxed in those same muscles that were tight two minutes ago magical the way that our bodies and our minds naturally work. Of course there's loads, thousands and thousands of different techniques that can be used to help you relax completely and to move from stress ways is to just observe it, to just notice how you're feeling. I sometimes think of stress as being like a, a little baby, as opposed to a big it wants food, it doesn't want anything other than just your attention. As you go over and you give the baby attention, maybe you pick the baby up, give him a little hug, kiss, and then put him back down into his cot, his little bed, and he's happy again to sleep. I think sometimes physical discomfort can be a little bit like that. The tension and the stress, sometimes all it needs is a little bit of attention.
just starts to evaporate. So by doing what you're doing now and observing the physical feelings of your body, just and giving those feelings some attention. They then have what they needed in order to just melt away, relax, satisfy. Yes. 